Thank you to Crocs for sponsoring this video. Yup, I really just said Today, that. Today, I'm gonna show you my perfect, ideal 9 p.m. night routine. Now, I don't do this every single night, okay? A lot of the times I catch myself on the toilet scrolling on TikTok for hours and hours on end, but that's not what this video is about, okay? This is a productive, motivating video. All right, let's make dinner. on you know nice and silky and then we also got some crocs yes. yes i really just said those words out of my mouth can you believe it because i can't no because y'all know that i am crocs biggest fan i have been standing crocs for the longest time now i have been asking for this because i genuinely do not wear a shoe more than my crocs i think i have maybe like six seven pairs and i wear them everywhere i don't only wear them downstairs at the spa i wear them when i'm traveling you know in the waterfalls in the beaches you gotta protect your feet they make the perfect shoe for everything one time i went backpacking for a whole month and i could only bring one pair of shoes what did i bring my crocs Sorry, I'm just getting a little bit passionate. I don't only wear my Crocs when I'm traveling though. I wear them around the house. I wear them around my building. I wear my Crocs in the spa, but not just the spa, okay? I wear these everywhere. I'll wear these when I'm running errands or if I'm just shopping. I wear these with every single fit. And I have so many different pairs of Crocs. Y'all know this, okay? I got one for every occasion, every outfit, every color scheme. It's because Crocs are so comfy and I swear whenever I go outside to take my dog on a walk and I'm wearing Crocs, everyone else is too. And not gonna lie, I like to overanalyze people people by looking at the crocs and seeing what type of person they are because you can customize your crocs with gibbets this is the classic crocs flip but they're finally gibbetable and if you're like what are gibbets these little things here on them are called gibbets and you can customize your crocs to whatever you want by using gibbets and there's so many different ones to pick from i have some gummy bears some cereal we got a canadian flag because you know your girl's canadian a bagel because i have a bagel obsession and some cherries but there's so many different ones that you can pick from i'm telling y'all crocs are my favorite shoe i swear at one point in my life i made my whole identity Crocs and I wouldn't shut up about it, but for a good reason, okay? Full circle, guys. Now I'm here talking about Crocs to you. I'm gonna come down here every single night just because I'm paying way too much for my rent to not be using the amenities. So we're gonna have the jacuzzi, the sauna, not gonna lie. Using the amenities in a building is a really good way to meet people. I met this. Am I allowed to say this? I just know people that live in this building watch my videos. Anyways, I met this really fine Italian man in the sauna and. Yeah, there's nothing else. I just really wanted to tell you guys. Holy crap, it's hot today. I'm currently reading the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. And whenever I'm down in the spa, that's like usually whenever I read. This is my favorite book ever. I've talked about it so many times. Not gonna lie, when I moved into this building, I didn't think that I would use the amenities as much as I do. Because you like know when you move somewhere and like, if a place has amenities, you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna use them so much and you never end up using them. That's how I was in my previous apartments, but like here I actually use the amenities, but I think it's because my rent is outrageous. But honestly, it's really nice to come down here just because I feel like it makes me like really sleepy at night. Because I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm actually wired, but I don't know why. What? Oh my god, my ass is freaking burning. talking to you but you know what i've learned something if you don't find it embarrassing then it's not embarrassing but i don't really know how true that is but i think it's better being delusional than feeling embarrassed so i'm just gonna choose the route of feeling delusional okay i should not be living in this building i swear everybody that lives in this building is like really like rich and like sophisticated and like i'm just out here like you know i don't know how this is my life i feel so like bushy like i feel like i'm on vacation every single day you know what i mean Usually sweating now, so we are gonna go to the jacuzzi. Y'all, there are three dudes in the jacuzzi. I'm scared, and I can't bring y'all along with me because, like, I can't just record three dudes chilling in a hot tub, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna bravely go in there, but I can't bring you guys. But just know I'm about to go to a hot tub with three dudes just stanced up, like mansplaining, arms out, like this, just like chilling. I'm scared. 
currently have my phone hidden behind my book so they can't see that I'm vlogging but they're right in front of me there are three people so I feel very awkward vlogging usually I'd be okay with it but it's the fact that we're all basically naked in a communal bathtub that's already weird you know the vlogging is just like a little extra addedness but just, just just know that I'm enjoying myself reading my book in the hot tub I have never been swimming in this pool or even in this vicinity until this point and the reason is because I can't swim is that joke? No. Anyways, so if like anyone wants to take, like, give me swimming lessons, please do because I just like look at this and I'm like, damn, wouldn't it be nice? I'm like, is it like normal to know how to swim? Because I feel like every kid knows how to swim, but I'm like, my parents had better things to do than to sit and watch me swim. So I just never learned. Hit me up. If you guys want to give me swimming lessons, comment down below. It's actually embarrassing. Love. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit hungry, but at the same time, I know I'm not actually hungry. How do people like get full? Like, I'm never full. I think it's an issue for my doctor to tell me, but I'm not gonna go to the doctors because I don't have health care. Actually, the other day I sliced my finger open. Okay, insert footage here. Yeah, I sliced it open and I thought it was okay until it wouldn't stop bleeding after an hour of putting pressure on it Then I went to the doctors because like it literally wouldn't stop bleeding even though I never go to the doctors And they were like, oh my god, we need to put pressure on it, it won't stop bleeding And I'm like, what do you think I've been doing this entire time? And he was like, oh, you need stitches And I was like, no, I don't And he was like, yes, you do And I was like, mm, can you just glue it shut? And he's like, it's not gonna stay And I was like, well we're not doing stitches. He was a homie though and he glued it shut, so here we go. I'm just like afraid of needles, you know? But I am vaccinated. Let's shower because I have gross cootie water. Is that what we used to say back in the day? Boy cooties, I have boy cooties all over me from going in that jacuzzi with all those men. My bathroom is a freaking mess. I'm so sorry, this video is not on topic. I know you clicked on this video for a night routine, but I just have this problem where I don't shut up. Yesterday I went to the movies with this guy, but like I didn't leave my apartment. Like I wouldn't do that, you know what I mean? Like it was just convenient because like it was downstairs and like I was I was I was in the mood to watch a movie. Anyways, sorry if you're watching <sighs> No, because I know he definitely could be watching this. I'm sorry. You're nice, but I just like need to tell them, okay? Yeah, so I was like watching movies with this guy and he literally applied chapstick probably about four or five, six times. And it wasn't like it was convenient every time. Like, like there was a point where he was like digging in his mother freaking pocket for some chapstick to apply. And he literally asked me, he's like, do you have lip gloss on? And I was like, no. And then he literally gave me the fucking Vaseline chapstick to put some on myself. And I know you may be like, what do you mean by this? And I'm like, this dude was trying to hint at me to kiss him. Like, I know no dude is just applying with chapstick like six times in the span of two hours, okay? Like, come on now. Like, there was no way that he could smoothly go in for a kiss. Like, I was being as avoided as possible because y'all know that I don't kiss boys. I just, that was very specific. I just don't kiss people. So, like, if eye contact was getting too long, I would look away because, like, I don't even want to give him the chance. Now, I know y'all be me like, why did you watch a movie with him then? And the reason is because I wanted to watch a movie with him. You know what I mean? Like, but I did not want to try to... You know what I mean? Like, that's too much. That's doing too much for me. I don't know. Anyways, I just, like, thought I would tell you that story. Did I end up kissing him? No. Has he asked me to kiss him? Yes. Did I kiss him? No. I thought I would, like, try and venture out and, like, talk to people again, like I told you guys, because I had, like, seven months of literally talking to no boys, and it actually kind of scared me, because I was like, oh my god, do I know how to, like, talk to boys anymore? Because, like, you know after you, like, don't do anything for, like, a long time, whether that be, like, playing guitar, painting, riding a bike, it's kind of hard to, like, start doing it again, you know what I mean? But then once you do it, you start getting the hang of it. But I was scared, and I was like, oh my god, what if I don't know how to talk to boys anymore? So I was like, okay, even though I'm not gonna kiss any of them, I gotta, like, start talking to them just to see if, like, I'm still capable. You know what I mean? And that's what we're doing right now, okay? Where did I meet this guy? I met him at the dog park. I literally said, Hmm, what breed are your dogs? Maybe it's my fault because I do initiate conversations, but then I just like don't follow through You know what I mean? It's like can we just hang out without having to do anything physical? Thanks I can tell you so much more, but I think that it's a lot of my personal life that I probably Shouldn't share no man is safe I just know that if any potential man is watching this right now They're like all right mental note don't talk to mine because she's gonna talk about it on her YouTube and you are correct Where is this conversation going? I'm gonna take a shower <laughs> I'm on the toilet right now with no clothes on, but I just checked my Instagram. I have a DM from a dude that I met in my building. <laughs> Not me literally playing like the bachelorette with everybody in my building. Um, anyways, <sighs> I have a DM from a guy that I met in the building when I was at the lobby. I was talking to one of my doormen 
and this other guy came in and started talking to the doorman he was like oh sorry to interrupt and then they started talking but then he introduced himself to me and then I introduced myself to him and then we started talking he's like kind of cute though like actually though he basically he asked me like if I played basketball and I was like oh yeah but I like never really used the court downstairs he was like oh my god why like we should and I swiped up and replied to his story like a week ago and I was like 1v1 me like as a joke obviously you know what I mean and we like talked a little bit but he just DM me basketball tomorrow why am I actually playing bachelor in my building I'm so sorry if any of you guys are watching this because I know that there's definitely some staff watching this some like workers daughters watching this I know some moms of like daughters that live in this building are watching this um so uh yeah I hope you guys know the risk that I'm taking telling you guys this but it's like I don't have anyone else to tell so I'm gonna tell you you know I hope you're interested if y'all want to know like real-time updates just uh follow my spam account at my spammy because I'm literally about to go on here and tell you guys right now because you guys deserve to know like uh, maybe a week ago it's the fact that I literally was just on a movie date with somebody else in the building yesterday and it's also the fact that I freaking oh I forgot to tell you this yesterday when I was going walking to the movie theaters with this man a talent man was standing at the elevators and saw me and this guy walking to the movies and I was like kind of like holding his hand <laughs> I was kind of holding his hand walking to the movie theater and the Italian man literally saw us both and I just started bursting out laughing because I like couldn't help it and the guy that I was going to the movies with was like what's wrong and I was like oh nothing's wrong I just like am a giggly person because I couldn't hold it in but then I was expecting the Italian man to never hit me up again but today he hit me up and he was like oh I just got home do you want to head down to the spa and I was like oh sorry Sorry, I'm out like I can't next time and he was like oh yeah like enjoy your day like it's a nice day outside and I'm like at this point this isn't even a night routine this is literally just me spilling about my non-existent love life we're just having fun dudes always want what they can't have like it's the fact that like immediately after he sees me with another guy he texts me he's like do you want to go down to the spa I'm like you can have waited a little bit longer anyways I'm gonna shower, like I'm actually gonna shower. For a shower, I'm just using a cleansing oil to take the makeup off my face. I just got this off of Amazon. It's like a Calendula cleansing oil, but in the shower, I'm gonna use the Olay body wash like always. And then the Kate Somerville exfoliator. I've been really liking this a lot lately. And then uh, my eyes are burning because I've left this off for too long. I'm gonna go with the sun scrub. This is like a loofah, but it's silicone. So it like lasts a year, so it reduces waste, but. That was not attractive. I just use the Olay body wash like I always do and then the Kate Somerville exfoliator. It's like the perfect amount of grit, if I could describe it. I don't know, and it smells good, I like it. I do my skincare outside of the shower because I feel like there's too many products. So let me show you guys my nightly skincare. I'm so sorry if you came here for like an aesthetic night routine to like inspire you. Maybe I'll make one another time, but I just am in the mood to spill all the tea. Anyways, I'm reading my DMs on my spam account right now because you know, I read all of my, why do I have so much energy? I think that this is hyping me up. Someone's gonna stop. Someone's gonna stop. Someone's gonna stop me. Um, someone said no, but the way it would be so fun if you were in your anti-dating phase because these people would have a competition. It'd be almost like a movie. Okay, I am in my anti-dating phase, but it doesn't mean that I can't talk around, okay? I'm not trying to date any of them, which like, does that make me a cruel person? No, because it's New York City men. None of them are trying to date anyways, you know what I mean? So it is like we're playing The Bachelorette, but it's just, I'm not... <laughs> Smoochin, you know? Uh, I probably seem like such a bad person right now. But aren't y'all enjoying this? Aren't y'all enjoying the tea? I'm gonna wash my face. This is the Dermalogica Foaming Face Wash. Ah! Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Like, I actually have so much energy. I usually don't have this much energy, but like, I'm just hyped up from talking to you guys right now. Like, you know when you FaceTime your friend and you start telling them and then they start being like, you're a bad bitch, and then it gets you all hyped up. Like, that's how I feel right now talking to y'all. And if y'all want to join the spam account and get like real-time tea, you know, because this video is going to go up a little bit later. I tell the spam account right when it happens and then I always read my DMs and then like repost my DMs and like talk to you guys like that. At this point, we're a little family and I come to you guys for advice. Like I literally asked you guys the other day what to text this man back because I didn't know. And like you guys answer faster than my friends do, so I'd rather just tell you guys. Maybe I should just get a good group of friends. But you guys work. I like what we have going on, you know? I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Basically, this is like a powder. You add a little bit of water, and then it becomes like a paste. But it's like not too harsh on your skin. Oh, I'm kinda in the mood to be tan. Like, should I be tan tomorrow? I'm gonna be like wearing shorts playing basketball. I bought some stuff to tan though, because I've actually been wanting to for so long now, but I've just been putting it off. 
All right, I'm gonna go in with the Manyo by Fida Complex. This is literally like water. Well, I let that dry. Let's read some more DMs. Refresh. Someone said, that's just main character. Bro, you're living my dream. Stop. My being funny. <laughs> Someone said, yo, please tell me where you got this sweatshirt. Ah ha ha, I'm in love. It's my merch coming out soon. Just kidding. Give me like two, three months to mentally prepare. But if y'all want first access to my merch, follow this account. It's private right now, but I may let you in. Someone said, can't help it if the affirmations be working. No, for real. I be telling y'all that I be saying like all these affirmations and they be working. Let me know if you guys want me to tell you what affirmations I be using to attract men. I don't really know if it's attracting men. It's more like me just being super assertive and it's like they can't say no. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding guys. No, but like usually I shake up the conversation first. Not gonna lie because it's like I'm having fun. Oh, I'm using um, Causerex nail using power essence now. I don't know, I just be asking them random questions because I'm bored. Oh my God, I probably sound like the worst person ever. But like, I'm like genuinely interested in them, but just like not that way, you know? But this dude that asked me to go play basketball, he talked to me first. I'm gonna go in with Curology's moisturizer. I don't know, this is specifically made for me. That was a cup song. That was not it. Honestly, I switch up my skincare really often. This is a Calendula salve. I got this off of Amazon, but it's like kind of like an oil, but like it's, I don't even know how to explain it. I always use this to just lock in everything because it's like, it's just so good. I put this all over my lips, all over my neck, everywhere. Like I seal this in. This is the best. After I look like a greasy mess. I am not wearing clothes once again, but I'm gonna tan with the Bondi Sand self tanner and I will be back. <laughs> frequency for love sorry guys we gotta manifest i don't know apparently it's supposed to like manifest love attract love it works for me okay i mean i hope it does but i listen to so many of these make your crush go crazy over you very powerful meditated for like 15 minutes without even realizing it anyways i literally cannot journal right now like i am so tired i saw this thing on tiktok and it's like supposed to release <laughs> y'all gonna think i'm crazy it's supposed to release trauma from your hips and i didn't believe in it until i just did it and i was like whoa i'm gonna try to link it down below but you like get into a position and then you basically just breathe and slowly do it and like my legs literally like it worked it's did what i was supposed to do but my legs were just shaking and then like i got into like this like mindset and then i just it's just so easy to meditate and i'm not somebody that can just like meditate without like a guided meditation but it was so crazy anyways that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you guys want like a aesthetic night routine or like one routine or I can just keep doing these but thank you so much for watching I read every subscribers comment and I will see you next time Bye. thanks again to Crocs for sponsoring today's video